Gonna head out again. Like, I need to get that clay. We need to get our clay forming stuff going. Oh, we have a uh, peat deposit over here as well. I think I got peat from a different deposit. Oh! I swear, there's like a lot of holes here. Let me just... You know what? Safety first! Because that is a really... like... Hidden hole there. I don't want these carrots. So I guess we're doing just okay on the resource front. Like we found some brown coal. It's gonna be useful later on. Now I just have to remember where that clay deposit was. Okay, I've already swept this area. It's not, not a deep, so deep hole there. I do remember this. We did pass here. Now, I said before, uh, on our next trip, we'll pick up the spelt. Because now we have space in our inventory for it. So this time, I'm also going to be ignoring the rye if I find any more of that. And here's our clay. We're also going to need, like, another shovel. Alright, let's dig out this clay here. Also need to build out the pit kilns. Doesn't need to be too big, but... Just a little bit, just so we can get some clay forming done. The... Not the clay forming, but I guess... Clay forming is the first half, but just to fire the clay products that we make. I want like three of these. Once we get the cooking pots and the bowls fired up, we'll be able to uh, get some better meals going. You know what? Maybe four stacks. Uh, it is almost five o'clock. Or, not five o'clock, it's three o'clock. Sometimes it's just hard to remember the 24 hour clock. Okay, I'm exposed to it all the time, so I should be remembering it, but sometimes I just, like, can't remember it at times. Okay, that's enough. That's enough. You know, just finish the stack. Why not? Like, I'm already doing this. Okay, I don't need this last one. Let's get rid of it. 
Put this here. Uh, finish off the cranberries. Continue heading east. See what we can find. Carrots. Oh, sh Jesus Christ. I almost jumped to my death. Okay. All right, sheep, chickens. Oh, gotta watch out for those holes. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Oh, it's just conglomerate. Onions. Yeah, we do need lots of pea crops. Specifically the onions. Like, I'll also take the parsnips as well. Those are also pea crops, but for some reason the animals don't like the pea crops. The parsnips, I should say. Unless it changed in this version. Now, here we add some rye. And I haven't found a single copper deposit anywhere. That's annoying. So I'm probably going to have to do more panning during the night. But I also have clay, so got to do that too. Let's get up here. Maybe we can see a little bit farther. Okay, so we got a gravel area over there. Really don't like these hilly areas. Wait, what are those white blocks? Now I have to check this. Because if it's limestone or chalk, then that's a resource we need. So, gotta confirm this. Okay, it looks like it's on the ground area here. It is... Chalk! Okay, we have access to this resource as well. We just need copper. Oh, this is gonna suck. Like, unless we find those nuggets, can't really advance our tools. Okay, let's... Whoop. Dead hen. Alright, I guess we'll take this. Okay, gravel area is usually easy to see. Like the... Copper on the ground. In the gravel area. Because there's less grass growing. Less bushes as well. Also going to need some uh, resin, like this. And now our inventory is full. I guess we can get rid of this. So we're going to explore this for a little bit. Oh, jeez. Why do I keep looking down these? The moss layer. Uh, kind of hard to look for copper and resin at the same time. Because when you're looking for resin, you have to look up. When you're looking for copper, you have to look down. So it's a bit of a pain. Whoa! whoa there's a hole there. There's a lot of vertical holes here. Why can't you guys just, like, be more gradual? Like, damn. Oh, here's a ruin. Oh, here's an ore ruin. You can tell it's an ore ruin by the way it is. 
And there we go. We got brown coal. That's all we get. Oh, what is that? Uh, I'm going to assume those are bears. Kind of looks like a bear. Don't want to mess with you. At least not yet. We don't have any leaky pine around here. Yeah, you're all the way over there now. Let's get out of here. Let's peek in here real quick. Oh, fuck. Blah, 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 blah. I'm not messing with you. I still don't have any weapons yet. Keep that in mind. But right now, my only option for engaging enemies is to not engage them. Okay, I think it's time for me to head back. Still no copper, still no resin. Oh, jeez. There's another one right there. Oh, like, did you just appear right there? Because I didn't see it. Uh, finding copper is such a hassle. It's seven o'clock and there's another one right there. Yeah, it's time for me to head back. go through here that looks like another bear uh, I don't see any resin there is another rift over there I should put this in the offhand at this point. Yeah, let's stay away from you. And what is this? Carrots. There's another rift over there. Oh, I guess they spawn more when the rift activity is high. And more spelt. Let's head back. This is the area where I like put a like blocks around a hole. This is the area I lit on fire and the fire's gone. Okay, let's head back. This is the cave that collapsed. Still goes deeper. Now we're not going to explore any caves until we have copper tools. There's, there's really no point unless we get lucky with the ruins. So we're going to just store the seeds in here. Store the feathers here. And I think that's it. I guess we can move these here. And that's it.
All right, so let's dig out some sand. Okay. Get this all fired up. Uh, let's use our firewood. Or, you know what? Let's use the peat. The reason I want to use the peat instead of the firewood is because the firewood is used for the charcoal. So let's just save that up. And we're pretty much going to be doing clay forming and panning this entire time. So we're making cooking pots right now. Just got to finish the recipe. I started this with the clay that I got from panning. But it's like never enough. I really don't like panning, but... It's necessary for me to do this because otherwise I probably won't get any copper. Okay, so it should be done by now. And then we just duplicate the layer like so and it easily fills it out without me really doing that much work. So I'm just going to take a drink while this is all happening. Oh, I hear the drifters. Oops. Is the door closed? Yes, it is. Now, unless they can open doors now, I am completely safe in here. Let me just focus on these. There we go. Alright, so we got four pots now. Just put them here for the time being. Gonna make some bowls. Oh my god. Oh, you... Seriously, what the fuck? Get the... Oh my god! What the fuck? They can crawl in here! Oh, oh shit! Oh my god, what the hell? Fucking freaky. Okay, now we're safe. Holy shit, you guys. So, that happened. <laughs> These creepy guys can now, like... They can actually... They were, like, crawling through that one height, like, area there. They can do that now. They never did that before, but they can do it now. Now they're at... Yeah, they're like crawling on the ground. What the hell? Well, I'm just thankful that they still cannot open doors. Now let's enjoy this chicken. So I still need to fire up our uh, clay products. Still need to make more clay products though. Okay, so we got the bowls, we got the cooking pots. Uh, next, we're gonna do storage vessels.
pretty much gonna be doing this all night. Like, let's just use up all of our clay. Do this, and then we'll do some uh, panning. I think I need to deal with those wolves. Oh, I also need to build some armor. Once build this in, just duplicate the layer because there are many layers that are the same as this. So, this is the fastest way to do it. I just noticed the year is zero. Oh. I also noticed that it's no longer this same layer anymore, but year zero, like in previous versions, it was like year 1386, I believe. Like, why is it now zero? I don't think I read a, anything about this being changed, unless it was changed in like 1.17, which I didn't play. Let's just finish this up. It's actually faster just to use the 3x3 three three instead of duplicate layer for this. And there we go. Now, all I really need is six of these storage vessels for the entire game. Now, I'm not sure if I mentioned this or not, but I only play for like one year. So like one in-game year, so... By May 1st, year one, I guess. There's nine days in a year in this game. So, year one, May 1, uh, that will be the end of the playthrough. But I also need to find those uh, ruins. Those big ruins that are that were introduced to this game. I think it was like the first mainline quest of this game. So I also want to complete that before the year is up. These guys are going to be going at it all night. So all those growls that you hear... Uh... They go away at sunrise. Now then... You know, I should also make... An anvil mold. Like, get this out of the way first. Also need to make the molds for the pickaxe and the... Well, really, all the other tools as well. Now, I did collect quite a bit of peat, so I have plenty of fuel to fire this all up. I also need to harvest some grass for everything else. And sticks. Oh, yeah, that's right. I need more sticks. It's hard to gather sticks without the, uh, what's it called, the, uh, you know, those scissor things. I forget what they're called. Oh my god. Shears? Are they called shears? I honestly don't remember. <laughs> well, I'll figure it out once I have a good source of copper going. Oh, 
the good news is I only need one of these. One anvil mold is all I need for the entire game. For the other molds, I might need like a couple for each of them. Okay, we got that. So, one, two. Falx blade. What is a Falx blade? I also need a prospecting pick. Oh, we got whole molds now. So I no longer have to like get the anvil in order to make a hoe. I need this to till the stuff. Actually, I don't need this to till it because I can make the f make one out of flint. Raw jug. What's the jug used for? What is this jug used for? Storable in shelves, ground, cooking, sing. Uh, you're not helping. I, I'm assuming it's. Oh, is it for alcohol? That's my guess. But yeah, I also need the crucibles. Let's make four of these. The crucibles are easy to make. Just do this again. And this again. Another layer. Not, not really a three by three. It has to go like this. So put this over here. Or actually, let's put it over here. So we need to be firing these up. And let's make the molds. In this early stage, all we really need is the pickaxe and the hammer mold. We can make the other molds later on. Let's fill this in. Then poke out these pieces right here. Hammer. We also need to make maybe like four ingot molds. Four, six, eight. Like we do need a large amount of ingot molds. Jeez, we got a lot of stuff we need to fire. I think we'll make like four for the time being. Just need to carve this out. And then we'll just duplicate the layer. Make it easy on us. this in same thing here 